Hello guys. So our next topic is minimum variance of Merkle. So in this video we will discuss about what is minimum variance of Merkle. Then we will discuss about the design part. In this we have a question and as per the given question we have to find out the uh, Hoffman codes. Okay, but these Hoffman codes are basically minimum variance Hoffman code. Okay, minimum variance Hoffman code. And after that, we will discuss how to calculate the average length for a particular question. Okay. Now come to the uh, next slide. The next slide shows about some points. Uh, the points are by performing the uh, sorting procedure in a slightly different manner. We could have found a different Hoffman code. Means the minimum variance Hoffman code is same as the uh, Hoffman code. Okay, with minor changes. And these minor changes. Uh, uh, I will tell you further and uh, in the first resort we could place a4 dash higher in the list if we did, uh, talk about the, my previous uh, video lecture uh, for uh, conventional of code I just uh, put a4 dash below the uh, symbol having the same probability okay but in this case we just put uh, this a4 dash at upper level okay I will tell you later on now the next point is this so by combining a1 and a3 into a1 dash which has a probability 0.4. Here the probability 0.4 uh, is as per the given question. Okay. In this video also I am uh, taking the same question for solving the minimum variance of my course and by applying the, the same process as per the uh, man code. Means overall the process is same for minimum variance of man code but there is a slightly uh, change by uh, putting the value of a4 dash or a3 dash or a2 dash and so on. Now designing part. Now come to the designing part of minimum variance of my code. I am taking the same example as I have taken in uh, Hoffman code. Okay, so we have to design a Hoffman code for a source uh, alphabet A. Okay, here is a, we have a source alphabet A having the symbols A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. Okay, and these symbols have certain probability like uh, the probability of A1 and A3. Is same that is 0.2 then the probability of a2 is 0.4 and the probability of a4 and a5 is same that is 0.1 okay and the trophy for this source is 2.122 bit per symbol uh, now next point says we have to design a minimum variance of man code okay in my previous video we have to design just a of man code now in this video we have to design the minimum variance of man code I have already mentioned that the process is almost same with a slightly uh, with a minor change. Okay. Now the as far as the notation is concerned, the notation is same as we have taken in the Hoffman code also. Okay. Now consider this table. As I have already told you, we have a source letter, source alphabet A having the letters A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. And these letters A2, A1, A3, A4, A5 are arranged as per their probability in decreasing manner okay by uh, arranging these letter in a decreasing order so by arranging these letter in decreasing order the letter a2 having the highest probability 0.4 and the letter a1 having the probability 0.2 again the letter or symbol a3 is probability 0.2 then point then a4 uh, symbol a4 having the probability 0.1 and the last symbol letter is a5 having the probability 0.1 now the third column again shows the code word and basically these codes are Hoffman code okay but here we are we are considering the minimum variance minimum variance of my code so in this video we have to find out the minimum variance of my codes not of my codes minimum variance of my codes so basically these this first table is initially a five letter tables as per the given question Okay, and as per the given portion, we have a source alphabet A having the letters A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and all the probabilities already given in the portion. Now, come to the next slide. Now, in this slide, uh, we have, uh, as per the given table, we have letter A4 and A5, okay, which having the lower probability. So, letter A or symbol A4 and A5 have the lower probability. So, the symbols having the lower probability, we just assign their keywords. So, in the, as per the, this uh, table, A4, A5 have the lower probability. So, we just assign their keywords, and the keywords are 
following as uh, the coordinate of a4 is assigned as alpha 1 concatenate 0 and uh, the coordinate of a5 is uh, alpha 1 concatenate 1 okay or we have already know that the alpha is the binary string and the uh, stack means here is concatenation now what we have to do now by putting uh, or by assigning these code words for a4 and a5 we have a new alphabet a dash okay and this alphabet a dash have uh, new uh, have four letters and the four letters are a2 a1 a3 these three letters are already same as the previous as per the previous table but the fourth letter is a4 dash and this a4 dash comes from the a4 and a5 or comes from the code word of a4 and a5 okay so a4 dash is the combination of a4 and a5 and the probability of a4 dash will be the summation of probability of a4 and probability of a5 and the probability of a4 is 0.1 and the probability of a5 is also 0.1 so the probability of uh, a4 dash probability of a4 dash will be 0.2 so here the probability of a4 dash is 0.2 now what we have to do now again sort this alphabet a dash in descending order as per the probability bit probability value so we have to design a new uh, table having the letters a2 a1 a3 already same as the previous table but now here a4 dash having the probability 0.2 now make sure this a4 dash letter should be placed not below the a3 just below the uh, symbols having the same probability here a1 is 0.2 probability and a3 have already uh, given the probability as 0.2 now we have to uh, assign this a4 we have to post this a4 letter a4 dash letter just above these two letter in previous video or in previous uh, uh, topic of main code we just assign this a4 dash at below the a1 and a3 in previous uh, uh, hoffman code or in previous uh, video i just assign the a4 dash after the a1 and a3 as okay but in this uh, minimum hoffman code, uh, minimum variance hoffman code we just put this a4 dash above the a1 and a3 this is the slightly difference between the hoffman code and minimum variance code okay we have to uh, put this a4 dash above the uh, letters having the same probability like here here the probability of a1 and a3 is 0.2 and 0.2 it's okay now we have to uh, put this a4 dash having the probability 0.2 just above the a1 and a3 so here is slightly difference okay so we should to keep in this mind that we have to pose that particular letter above the letter having the same probability okay so here we just assign the a4 dash have code alpha 1 okay now we have a1 and a3 at the bottom now as per this table we have letter a1 a3 having the low probability that is 0.2 now again what we have to do we have to just assign the code words for a1 and a3 so the code word of a1 and the code word of a3 is alpha 2 concatenate 0 and alpha 2 concatenate 1 so theek hai okay now in next slide i have mentioned uh, a new alphabet okay so in we have a new alphabet and this alphabet having symbols a2 a4 dash and a1 dash okay and the probability of a1 dash will be the summation of probability of a1 and a3 so the probability finally the probability of a1 dash will be 0.4 now again we have to uh, design a new table having the three alphabets a1 dash a2 and a4 dash make sure the uh, make sure we have to assign this uh, uh, letter a1 dash above the a2 because a2 have already given in the table having the probability 0.4 and a1 dash having the probability 0.4 just above the a2 so we have to assign a1 dash in a table just above the a2 having the same probability here is 0.4 all and here is 0.4 also and the code word what we have assigned to this letter a1 dash is alpha 2 so here we have a table having the three letters so this is a reduced uh, three reduced three letters alphabet alphabet okay now next what we have to do on the basis of this three letter alphabet table 
we are again find out uh, the two letters having the lowest probability so as per this uh, table we having the three letters the letter a2 and a4 dash have the low probability so again we have assigned the uh, code words so the code word for a2 will be the alpha 3 concatenate 0 as well as the code word of a4 dash will be alpha 3 concatenate 1 so i am assigning the equation number 5 as well as equation number 6 but as per the previous table the code word for a4 dash is alpha 1 therefore we can say that the alpha 1 equals to alpha 3 concatenate 1 okay alpha 1 equals to alpha 3 concatenate 1 as per the table so i am putting this equation as equation number 7 what does happen it means that the code word of a4 will be equal uh, will be the uh, alpha 3 concatenate 1 0 if i am putting the value of alpha 1 equals alpha 3 concatenate 1 in equation number 1 we will get the code word a4 equals to alpha 3 concatenate 1 0 similarly we will get the code word of a4 as alpha 3 concatenate 1 1 by putting the value of alpha 1 equals to alpha 3 concatenate 1 in equation number 2 we will get the code word of a5 that is alpha 3 concatenate 1 1 so i am putting this equation as equation number 8 as well as equation number 9 now again what we have to do we have to just update the table and this table we have only two alphabets and the sorry two uh, symbols and the symbols are a2 dash and a1 dash so uh, the probability of a2 dash will be the uh, summation of probability of a2 as well as the probability of a4 dash okay so finally the probability of a2 dash will be 0.6 so the probability of uh, a2 dash the probability of a2 dash will be 0.6 now come to the next slide so now again sort as per their uh, given values of probability so we have a uh, table and the table consists of two letters a2 dash as well as a1 dash and these letters have the probability 0.6 as well as 0.4 okay so this is our reduced two letter alphabet and the code words for uh, a2 dash and a1 dash are alpha 3 as well as alpha 2 respectively okay now at this moment we have only two letters in the table so we just directly assign their code words okay so the code word for a2 dash will be 0 similarly the code word for a1 dash will be 1 okay when uh, we have uh, two letters in the table we just directly assign their code words the first letter will be uh, the code word for first letter will be 0 and the code word for second letter will be 1 okay so i am putting the directly the values uh, as a code word of a2 dash is 0 and the code word of uh, a1 dash is 1 so by putting the value of uh, a2 dash and a1 dash in previous uh, equations will we get the code word of a1 dash equals to alpha 2 because uh, the code word of a2 dash is alpha 3 okay so the code word of a2 dash is alpha 3 and the code word of a1 dash is alpha 2 as per the table we will get the uh, all the values by putting the all the values in previous equations we get the code words so we get all the code words for all the elements or all the symbols so we get the code word for a2 is 0 0 similarly the code word of a4 dash is 0 1 by putting all the values in equation uh, then we will get uh, all the code words for a given symbols if we have a table having the five symbols or six symbols by calculating all the equations we get all the code words for a particular question okay so after that uh, by solving all the equations we get all the code words so in this table in this table we have all the four, uh, four, uh, five letters a or five symbols a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 now here the letters are arranged in descending order as i have already mentioned in the table these are the probabilities now these are the code words which are uh, withdrawn or which are calculated by previous calculations previous equations so the final code word for a2 is 0 0 the code word for a1 is 1 0 a3 is 1 1 then a4 is uh, 0 1 then the code word of a5 is 0 1 okay now one thing is we have to uh, discuss here these code words are the minimum variance minimum variance of mankind 
okay these code words are minimum valence hoffman codes and as far as the hoffman code is concerned or you can say the traditional uh, conventional hoffman code is concerned the values are different as i have already discussed in my previous lecture lecture in the uh, hoffman code or conventional hoffman code the letter a2 have the code word only one okay similarly uh, if i can i say that, uh, the letter a1 having the code word uh, 01 a3 having the code word 000 then 0010 for a4 and the code word for a5 will be 0011 so this is the the difference you can easily see that uh, these code words for the same letter having the same probability for minimum variance as well as for uh, hoffman code previous hoffman code the probabilities are same but the difference is the code words are different okay these code words are minimum variance code words okay minimum variance hoffman code and these are the general hoffman codes okay now come to the average length calculation now in the question we have already given the entropy now we have to calculate the average length for this question as we have a, a, a sim, a alphabet a having the symbols a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 okay and the probabilities are already given in the question the and the probabilities are the uh, a1 and a3 having the probability 0.2 a1 and a3 probability and the probability of a2 is 0.4 and the probability of a4 and a5 is 0.1 okay now what we have to do we have to just calculate the average length for this question so average length can be calculated by summation of summation of probability into number of bits means whatever we have uh, uh whatever we have the minimum variance of my code number of bits okay so if i am taking first value that is 0.4 so we have a a2 then as per the table we have a symbols a2 a1 a3 a4 and a5 these are the symbol as per the degrees of order and the probabilities are uh, probabilities 0.4 sorry probabilities are 0.4 then 0.4 then again we have a uh, letter a having the probability something then we have probability of for a3 and then probability of a4 and a5 we have certain probabilities given in as per the question so what we have to do we just uh, multiply these probability with their number of bits okay multiply by the number of bits whether the code word is represented in one bit or two bit just by uh, getting uh, putting the all the values we get the average length okay so finally we get all the average length for a particular question thank you